All right, welcome back. A new poll about GOP presidential candidates. And get used to a new poll. One comes out of just about every day. Emerson College in Boston finds former President Donald Trump lost six percentage points since Emerson's pre-debate poll. Trump still leads with 50%. Nikki Haley jumped five points uh, and is currently tied with former Vice President Mike Pence, who saw a four-point increase. Ron DeSantis, Chris Christie gained two percentage points. Vivek Ramaswamy down a point. Uh, all right, our poll guru, Chris Steyerwald. Mm. Um, can we yet say that anyone is cutting into Donald Trump's formidable lead? Well, uh, contrary to what I think the conventional wisdom out of the debate said, this poll at least shows Ronnie D getting a little uh, bit back from Trump. We remember that Ron DeSantis lost all of that early vote share that he had uh, to Trump. Right, so February DeSantis versus July DeSantis, that vote share, almost all of it, except for a couple of points, went back to Trump. And here we see a couple of points maybe coming back Trump's direction. The challenge for DeSantis is this. The There's rest, only one? The, <laughs> the, the, the rest of the almost. Republican field uh, is not going anywhere right now. And when you see Nikki Haley improving, you see Tim Scott doing fine, you see even Mike Pence getting a point or two. When you see those folks getting encouragement from the debate, the, the way that we have to think about this debate and debates in general, they, th there's what happens in the debate. And millions and millions of people watch the debate. No doubt attitudes were shifted. But the number one thing that these debates do is they act as a marker, a signal for voters that the time for deciding is coming. Right. And so you have all the people who have only given passing thought to actually having to cast a ballot of the 33 million or so Republicans who are going to cast ballots. This debate was the first cue. OK, it's happening. And this will you'll continue to see shifts in this. And I, it is absolutely possible Donald Trump will go pen to post as the front runner in the Republican nomination. George W. Bush did it in 2000. It can be done. It's rare, but it can be done. But he will not go through without losing part of his vote share between now and Iowa. That's, he's already maxed out. He's already, he already is where he is until he becomes the nominee, at which point the uh, party would consolidate. But for now, there's going to be entropy, and he's got so much of the vote. He's really got nowhere to go but down a little bit. Well, and that's always a hard place to be, right, to be in that in the leading position. Right. Because, number one, it's like, you know, you've got something, you don't want to screw it up. Right. But number two is... No good, no good news can happen for you between now and Iowa. Right. That's, a, that's, that's right. So for Trump, going out to such a big number, being at 53, 54 percent of the vote, 40 points ahead in some polls of his closest competitor, that's a wonderful place to be. But again, you can only really go down from there, even if you just go down a little bit, even, even if you end up winning right. by 10 points. And we saw something similar to this from, uh, with Republicans from, with Bob Dole in 1996. Huge commanding lead in the early going. And he came in by the skin of his teeth. He finished. He got the nomination. But it was a real close call. Trump has to guard against and be aware of the fact that downward momentum is just as important in the minds of voters as upward momentum is. People want to get on board somebody that's winning. But Trump, who's talked endlessly about, oh, I've got 53, 54, this is my great huge percent. People are saying I have the best percentages. As those numbers come down a little bit, it will... Uh, undercut voters People want to jump off faster almost than they want That's to. That's right. Don't be Bob Dole uh, could be the theme of this segment. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.